Do you want a computer that can't listen to you? Do you want a computer that can't watch you? Do you want a computer that can't track you wirelessly? Well, today we're going to be removing the camera, the microphone, the Bluetooth, and I've already removed the Wi-Fi from right here. Now, this is an X230 model, and I'm actually building it for someone uh, who's actually a supporter of the channel. So I really want to send a thank you out to them. I don't know if they want their name, so I'm not going to mention the nickname. Uh, but that's what we're doing today. Also, gives them a little bit of a preview of what they're getting. So I try to do that from time to time when I'm working on something for someone. I will go ahead and record a tutorial video to share with everybody. So let's go ahead and get started on this. So you're going to have a computer that will have no microphone. And what I recommend there is get a plug-in microphone. So this is an X230. It has a microphone or a auxiliary jack. And you can actually get one of those microphones that are on a headphone set. So anytime they want to use a microphone, they simply plug in one of those headphones with a microphone on it. So that way there's no microphone in the system. The Bluetooth and Wi-Fi can't be tracked because there is no Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. The camera can't watch you no matter what, just because it simply doesn't exist. And uh, that's about it. So that's just a few steps that I'm taking for this person. So if anyone is interested in a core boot laptop, you can always ask me to remove the microphone, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, always up to you if you're interested in that. And even the ethernet if you really, really want to get rid of everything. But let's go ahead and get started with it. And uh, we'll go ahead and take out the Bluetooth first. So the Bluetooth is right down here on this model. And on many ThinkPads, it comes as a little stick, kind of like this. So all I got to do is pull that screw out. And then all I got to do is tug on the tag a little. And there's the Bluetooth removed. Next thing. And the first thing, of course, before you do any of this, I should have mentioned this at the beginning, remove your power source, remove your battery, remove the charger, because you don't want to cause a problem with your laptop. So definitely never do any kind of work on your computer until you've removed the power sources. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get the microphone. Now when you are going to remove a microphone from your computer, it could be in various places on that computer. And the way we're going to find it is, well, we're going to look for a little lip that goes around. So they generally have a little lip and then there's a hole in the middle. Now when we look close, we can see just that, right? Here, we have a little, you know, rubberized outside, then we have a little hole there. So that's what we're going to be removing next, and what we're going to do is just take the single screw out that connects it, and we're just going to go ahead and unscrew that. So this is a very special computer order. I actually put a high upgraded IPS screen, and I've also done various other work on it, and they also asked about a... Uh, you know, SSD a much larger size than normal. So uh, I've already installed that, got them a brand new one. So this isn't the normal price just because, you know, it's cost me more than that to actually build it. There we go. So it's attached as well right here. So this is how it actually connects into the computer. And it is a little bit behind the screen, the connector. So you gotta be real careful. So we've removed the Bluetooth, the Wi-Fi. And by the way, the models I offer also have a kill switch right on the side. So that's another cool factor. You have a kill switch. So you actually don't really need to remove the microphone or the Bluetooth. You can simply turn that switch and it'll kill wireless for you. But now that we've got that done, let's go ahead and make our next step. So now we need to remove the camera. And the camera's up here. And on this particular model, it's actually kind of behind the think light. So I've already taken that off. And these think lights can be glued in. So they are can be tricky. It all depends if it's ever been taken apart before. Sometimes people remove the glue. But in this particular case, this is an excellent condition model. You know, this one's especially special because one of the ways these X230s are designed, they're very rare to get in great condition such as this one. And one of the ways it's designed is it has a little plastic lip up here. So on the lid, it's actually in two real pieces. So it's very common. If you buy these, 99% chance this thing's going to be loose. This one is not. It's, it's like it's, it's just as firm as if it were new. And the reason for that 
is because on the inside of here, this is only really connected by a few tabs under here, and then there's also another strip up here. So to connect the tip, it's a very weak connection by design. This one, of course, is just as strong as if it were just bought because it's a high quality one. As you can see, excellent condition. You can see all those beautiful sparkles on it. And so it tends to happen over time. People open their laptop many, many times and they tend to grab it by the top. That loosens up this tip here. And so generally, if you buy one of these in this day and age, you're not going to find one like this. That's for sure. To remove the camera, the next step I'm going to do is I'm first going to disconnect the camera. There's this little connector here. I'm going to go ahead and show that first. So there's a connector right there. If you can see, I'm pointing at it. So that connector there, I'm going to go ahead and take a fingernail. And you take two fingernails under here. This one's a little different design. I actually thought it was one. Some of them will just clip off like that. This one's a little different. I haven't had to remove a camera on this model before. There we go. We got it undone. So see, this one's a little different from the models that I generally work on. This one pulls out. So if you have an X230, you're going to need to pull it down. Now on most of the models I work on, it's actually one you can pull off like that with your fingernail. Unclipped first. You want to ensure that. Then what you'll do is you'll unscrew it. And so we'll do that next. We'll go ahead and see. It's also good to take a look around to see if there's anything else in the way. So I don't see anything in our way. So we'll go ahead and start that unscrewing process. Go ahead and unscrew it. I'm watching two things at the same time here. Okay, we got that out. Now, how to remove this camera? Well, we've already unclipped it. And it's under a little latch here, so there's this little plastic piece that is holding it down right there. As you can see, it's kind of holding over it a little. So you're going to have to be a little cautious. Oh, there, that was easy. And there we go. We've removed it, and now we have a core boot laptop, no camera, no microphone, until you plug it in the side. So get yourself a plug-in microphone if you end up either getting a laptop to support this channel or if you just buy one on your own. Get a plug-in microphone if you're going to remove the microphone. It's always a good idea. It never hurts to remove the microphone because, you know, if you don't trust, especially if you're running something you're not sure of, of course, obviously, I completely remove all of the original you know, proprietary BIOS and UEFI firmware. So I remove all of that. I completely replace it with something that I personally configured and compiled from source code directly from the source. So I'm not using random files. That's it, really. That's all you have to do to get this, you know, taken apart. You know, you just simply to remove the keyboard and then you can take off this part. And if you have an X230, this is the process you would go through in order to remove the Wi-Fi card, the Bluetooth, the microphone, and the camera. Hope you found this helpful. Make sure to share the video so other people can learn how to remove the microphone, the camera, the Bluetooth, and the Wi-Fi on their own laptop. And yours may be in a different place, so of course the camera's generally up here, but the microphone may also be up here. In fact, a lot of times the microphone will actually be part of the camera itself. So on other models of ThinkPad, there's actually a microphone on each side of this particular camera. It's a little bigger camera in those cases usually. Um, but that's how you'll remove it, and it's generally the same steps. You just want to look around carefully, make sure you're not going to break anything along the way. Tug on that after you remove the screw for the Bluetooth. You know, carefully remove the Think Light, which may be glued in, as it was in my case. Then you'll unscrew the single screw, and you'll remove that. You'll remove the microphone with the single screw, and then you'll rely on just simply a plug-in headset that has a microphone on it.
that's what I got today, guys. If you want to support the channel, you can get a Core Boot laptop similar to this, but a, usually a different model unless you've requested ahead of time something like this, which I can do if I know in advance enough at times. So make sure to talk to me, and I'll be happy to help you out. You know, we can talk about different things that I offer. I'll be happy to, you know, offer you with, you know, a choice of a Linux operating system or cubes if you want cubes. You can always get cubes or you can make it a Tails machine without having any storage, save some money that way. That's all you got to do to remove your camera, your microphone, and your Bluetooth on this particular model. Yours may be slightly different if you have a different computer model, but you can do it on any computer in one way or another. Look forward to doing the next video with you guys. Make sure to share, like, and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If you made a computer like this or you have a computer where you've removed the microphone and this video helped you, I'd love to hear from you. So I will see you guys soon on how to protect your security and privacy.